Goedemorgen, aand. Good evening. En baie welkom aan elke een. So happy to see each and every one of you. I trust that you had a very great, awesome, long weekend. Um, welcome, welcome everyone on the call tonight. Monday night, prayer night. Actually, we are so blessed in our assembly that we have got prayer night every evening, every night of the week um, from here, um, reaching and including different countries like um, Asia and people from America, from all over the world. Uh, people are tuned in on various evenings. Um, the familiar people is myself, Wena, on a Monday night. And then Brother Shokat, he's got his um, prayer meeting on a Wednesday night, but in between awesome, awesome, powerful, powerful prayer meetings. And I just know all over the world, the spirit is moving and that we are really here in the latter days to see what God is busy doing. As I said, I trust that each and every one of you had an awesome long weekend. Some people went uh, to the sea to see the sea. Um, it was good. I would like to know how many fish Robert caught. He's very quiet and he didn't let me know, but um, I said all the fish he's going to catch, I'm going to eat up raw. So I didn't have faith in Robert's fishing, but I'll find out and I'll give, I'll give feedback. But we are here to seek the face of the Lord and our prayer is never in vain. Those of you that are here maybe for the very first time, you are so welcome. I just want to show you this beautiful picture here behind me. Because from where I'm sitting, you can only always see the feet, but um, it is the beautiful story of the woman who cried and dried the feet of Jesus with her tears. A verse that was, I actually, I woke up and that was the whole day in my heart. Brother Shokat can add on when, just now when, when I hand over to him is a very, very familiar verse. I want to encourage you with that. And I want to encourage you to start, if, you don't, if you're not doing it, I, I trust you are doing that, to start studying your Bible, to, to learn it by heart. Because, uh, you know, when I was a child um, in Russia, uh, for instance, um, the Bible wasn't allowed and Christians were not allowed there. But... South Africa is not too good to have the Bible removed. It is removed out of the schools already. Um, um, it is, South Africa is not too good that they would just say one day that, listen, yeah, um, we are not going to allow you to read the Bible. And then you have, if you study the word and you constantly um, quote the word, um, it comes alive in your heart and nobody can take that away from you. So this morning I woke up with Proverbs 18 verse 10 that you know by heart. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it. Now the righteous, that is not very smart, very rich, um, very high educated people. Yes, it includes. But when you are washed in the blood of the lamb, then you are a righteous person. When you are washed in the blood of the lamb, accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, then you are a righteous man and a righteous woman. Now, the word is so awesome. It says the righteous runs into it, into the name of the Lord, and they are safe. No matter what, my, no matter what, how the foundations are shaken, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runs into it, and they are safe. The Afrikaans says, the name van die Heere is a sterk Toering, en die rechtvaardigers hart loop daar in en hulle word beskut. Wow, what an awesome God. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And tonight, 
we seek the face of God and we can run into the name of the Lord. I want to encourage you to say that the correct spiritual posture for a born again believer like you and me um, is to fear Satan in no way and not to fight him in your own strength, but run into the safety of Christ. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that is guaranteed safety. I'm telling you, nothing is guaranteed in these days. I cannot say tomorrow, I will have a cup of coffee with Brother Shawkat. Nothing is guaranteed in these days, but Christ, run into Christ. That is our guaranteed safety. Yes, we can we can't but god can and with our prayers on a monday night on a tuesday night on a wednesday night as um the 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 prayer groups uh, share the prayers um it changes the atmosphere your prayer changes the atmosphere and if that happens I'm like, wow i would like to pray throughout the day and you don't have to go on your knees to pray there where you are working there where you are driving there where you are sitting at your desk you can constantly be in contact with the lord and um, pray to god we can't but god can and our prayers our faithful prayers on a monday night and every other night of the week all over the world it changes the atmosphere it changes circumstances i'm telling you i know about families that are having issues i can't do anything but i can pray and god can because the name of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and they are safe i hope that you are so excited like i am about the name of the lord there is not many things that excites me in these days but I am excited about the name of the Lord. I'm excited about prayer. I'm excited about Jesus. I'm excited about the Holy Spirit. I am excited because I know where we cannot go in, the Holy Spirit can move in. And I trust God that the Holy Spirit is about to take over his rightful place in South Africa to change change our land to the glory and the honor of his name. I pray that the day will be soon where the Holy Spirit will just invade businesses and take its rightful place in schools, in our churches, and in our houses, in our homes, and also in our lives. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Oh, I am so excited to stand in agreement with you who are going to pray. Um, there are a few um, prayers that came up, prayer requests that came up that we are we are going to pray for the sick people. We speak healing. We speak healing. We speak not. We don't speak defeat. We speak victory. We speak life in the name of Jesus, and that is how we change the atmosphere. Just before the prayer meeting started, I didn't have an opportunity or a chance even to watch the video. I just read the headlines that there are severe, severe fires in Ritchie, apparently a town near Kimberley. Maybe you know of that but let us stand together in agreement that god will just quench that fire in the name of jesus it is very dry there but the name of the lord is a strong tower and i pray when we run into it we can trust god to send the rain in the dry places in jesus name i just also want to uh, request once again if you are new here on the call that you keep your mic closed and that the way you sit in your lounge or in your study room or 
or wherever you sit, you just stand in agreement and you pray and agree with the person that is leading in prayer. But please just keep your mic closed for, for the due of the prayer meeting. And if you want to comment something, right at the bottom, um, there is a bar where you can see who is on the call and uh, there is a little tick block that says chat if you want to put in a prayer request, even if you want to make yourself available to pray on a Monday night, please uh, leave us a message there in the chat box. Enough said, we are going to pray, we are standing in agreement. Thank you, Brother Shokat, for your faithfulness, being a blessing, always um, prayer, uh, uh, um, powerful like the Holy as as the Holy Spirit leads you, you and each and everyone are so welcome, but let us trust God tonight for the signs, the wonders, the miracles, the breakthroughs. Souls need to be saved. They are souls that are dying outside and souls also need to be saved in these days. And our prayers can pave the way for those who need to go out and to go and minister. Thank you, Brother Shokat. Over to you. Amen. Powerful word, Pastor Emi, with regards to the name of Jesus. Definitely a tower that we can run into, um, at the strong tower that we can run into at this time. So let us, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we honor you this night. We bless you. We bless the name of Jesus. We thank you that you sustain us, that you keep us, that you are faithful, that you are true, that you love us that you've kept us and that you are holding us together, that you haven't forsaken us or our families or this nation, even those on this call, we bless you and we thank you for the opportunity that we can. It is a wonderful opportunity to stand in the gap on behalf of our nation and to pray and present our requests before your throne of mercy and grace. We bless you this night. We honor you, our King. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We bring honor to your name. We bring honor to your throne right now. And we lay before your, your throne of grace. We bow our, our heads and we honor you. We bless you. We bless this mighty King of glory, this mighty Jehovah, this mighty, this lion of the tribe of Judah. We bless you. We lift you up on this call this night and we declare your lordship on this call over our nation, over our families, over our areas, over this country. We bless you and we honor the name of Jesus. Father, we commit um, every household, every family member to you uh, that's represented on this call in this nation. We declare that you are king and that you are Lord. And everything that is out of alignment to your word, we call it into alignment. Be it marriages, be it relationships between parents and children. My God, even in this time where there is such whatever the enemy has been trying, I thank you that we can call forth families into alignment, every relationship. I thank you that you are a way maker for even in those homes where they are faced with impossible situations, whatever the circumstance, we declare that you are faithful and true, that you would work a work and that you would bring those things together for good in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus over every household. Uh, even in your word where it says you put the blood uh, on the doors and the windows and the lintels and, and that when the enemy comes that the spirit of death would pass over it. But I thank you that even right now that there is power in the blood of Jesus that's over our homes, over our families, over our children, over our marriages, over our relationships, that the blood of Jesus still avails. I thank you that no weapon formed against us or our family shall prosper and every tongue it has risen up against our families in judgment that those have been condemned in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, even every accusation, every accusation that's been shot at people because they're choosing to believe in you, even in these times, they're choosing to do what you've asked them to do. Every accusation, I cut off the spirit of accusation right now in the name of Jesus. I cut that off where it's 
brought confusion with the, uh, the accuser or the brethren has come and brought confusion. And even where it's brought people to be depressed and oppressed and feeling demoralized right now, I cut that thing off in the name of Jesus. I, and I pray that you would rise up again, arise and shine for your light has come. My God and King, my God and King, even the spirit of oppression that's sitting on some households, even this night, where they don't know what to do next. How are they going to make it? How are they going to? We pray even for them right now, and we lift them up before you, that you are a way maker. You are the God who split the Red Sea. You are the God who provided even in the, in the wilderness. You are the God who makes a way. So we bless you. We thank you for making a way even in these situations right now. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of heaviness that is sitting on top of households right now. We speak into the very atmosphere over every family, every household this very night. And we declare that every dark cloud must give way. We thank you that, Father, that you are the king of glory. And we thank you that every dark cloud has to give way. Your word says at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that you are Lord. And we speak your name. We say Jesus into the atmosphere. We say Jesus into the atmosphere over every home and every household, into the atmosphere of every family right now, in the name of Jesus. And we cover our families, our relationships, our, our family units under the blood of the Lamb. And every weapon that has been formed shall not prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you know what you are doing and that you are working a work in our days as it says in Habakkuk. Even though it was told to us, we will not believe it, but you are performing that. And you are bringing such awesomeness to pass in our days. And I bless you that we can be a part of it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Pauline, if you are there, you can open your mic and lead us. Onze Himmelse Vader, Groot en Almachtige God, ons loof u, ons prijs u, Heilige Naam. Dank u vir die voorrecht wat ons het om in te beweeg in die allerheiligste van wie die bloed wat voor ons gesterf het op die kruis van Golgotha. Dank je dat u die weg, die waarheid en die lewe is. Niemand komt naar die vader behalve door die sien nie. Heere, ons erken u as ons banier, ou benne. Ons erken u as ons heilige maker. Ons erken u as ons herder. U is Jehovah Rapha. Die God wat geneesing bring. Vanaan kom ons teen die gees van krankheid. Teen die gees van COVID. Teen die gees van vrees. Teen die gees van angst. En ons bid. En ons bind dit. En gooi dit in die duisternis. Die buitenste duisternis. En ons maak ons mense toe. Onder die bloed van Jesus. Ons is afhankelijk van u, o God. Dankie Heere dat u die engele, engele met vlammende swaarde opdrag gee, om ons mense, wat nou in hospitale vech vir hulle lewe, te bewaak en te beskerm. Ons spreek lewe oor elke persoon wat siek is. Jere, daar is Annemarie. Tot dusver het u haar gedra. Psalm 41 vers 4 sê, Die Jere sal hom bystaan in sy siekte, as hy siek is, sal ek hom gezond maak. Jere, en vanaan staan ons op die woord. Die woord is ja en amen. Ons dank u vir volkome geneesing, jere. Volkome geneesing in die naam van Jesus vir Annemarie. Jere, vanaan bring ons een jongvrou na die troon van genade. Sy is gediagnoseer met baarmoederkanker. En gaan morgen vir bestraling. Ons kom teen die gees van kanker. Ons bind dit en maak los volkome geneesing. Ek spreek elke bloedselle en elke rooi bloedselle aan om in lijn te kom 
met die woord van God. Die vijand het gekom om te stil en te verwoes, maar hy het gekom so dat ons lewe kan hee en lewe in oortvoel. Halleluja! Ons bid vir haar vir kalmte en vrede en dat sy in die Heere sy ris sal gaan. Vader, ons los haar in die bekwame hande van ons Heer en Meester. Dankie Heere dat hy ons nooit sal begewe of nooit sal verlaat nie. Hy is ons toevlug, Heere, ons enigste toevlug. Hy alleen, Heere, is God. Heere, ek dink vanavond, Heere, ons kom saam vir Matthew, ons kom stem saam vir Matthew vanavond, met sy weer eczema. Ach, Heere, dat hy, iemand, dat hy vanavond vir ons sal anra, gezond sal maak. Heere, dat sy vel weer glad sal wees. Hy is nog die selfde Jesus, hy is nog die God van wonnewerke. Ek spreek lewe oor daar die bloed, jyre, wat dier sy aarde vloe, daar die bloed, jyre, dat dit skoon sal wees in die naam van Jesus. So kom bid ek vanavond, jyre, vir elke een op hierdie groep, jyre, dat jy ons sal toemaak met die bloed van Jesus. Jyre, jy kan, ek jy ken elke een sy behoeftes, Jy kan el en el, jy ken elkeen sy begeerte. Jere, soos ons gezichte van mekaar verskil, so verskil ons behoeftes van mekaar. En vanaan kom bid ek, jere, dat jy elkeen sal kom ontmoet op die pin van hulle behoeftes in die naam van Jesus. Jere, laat jy koninkryk kom, laat jy wil geskiet in elkeen van onse levens, in die naam van Jesus. En ek sê vanaan vir die Heere, dankie vir wonnewerke, jy is nog steeds die selfde Jesus, jy is nog steeds die God wat wonders doen. Ek sê vir jy, baie dankie Heere, jy krij al die eer, al die lof, al die prijse, in die naam van Jesus. En ek sê vir die Heere, dankie, amen en amen. Halleluja, we praise you, exalt your name. You are great and greatly to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name and we declare that there is no one like you, Lord. You alone are worthy, worthy to be praised, worthy to be lifted up, Lord. Lord, we give you glory and honor tonight. You are still the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I thank you that you are God in control, Lord. And I thank you that we can stand in agreement tonight to pray for our country and for circumstances as uh, um, been mentioned already. We stand in agreement and we say, yes, Lord, yes, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, now I want to come and I want to pray for my family, for the, the call to prayer family, um, everyone, each and everyone on this call tonight and including our extended family, Lord. I want to pray for protection over us, Lord. And I come Come to you now in the name of Jesus and I declare tonight that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper every tongue which rises against us in judgment we do condemn Lord I thank you that your word says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that this is our heritage as the servants of the Lord and our right righteousness is from you hallelujah Lord I thank you if there are those of us who have been those who have been speaking or praying against us who, or, or who has rejected us, even curse us, Lord, tonight we forgive them and having forgiven them, we bless them in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, and now we declare that you and you alone are our God and besides you, there is no other God. You are a just God. You are our our savior hallelujah you are our creator you are our redeemer you are our faithful loving god you are, are our father and jesus the son and the holy spirit we worship you we bless you we give you glory and honor lord your word says we must submit ourselves to god and we must resist the devil but first we need to submit 
submit, resist the devil, and then he will flee from us, Lord. So we submit to, tonight. We submit ourselves afresh to you in unreserved obedience to the glory and the honor of your name. And having submitted to you, Lord, we do as your word directs. We resist the devil and all his pressures and all his attacks. I come against all his deceptions and every instrument or agent that he would seek to use against us. I want to say tonight, we do not submit. We resist him. We drive him away from us. We exclude him from us in the mighty name of Jesus. And specifically tonight, Lord, I reject and I repel every form of witchcraft, every influence of the occult. I come against every spirit of infirmity. I come against infections. As Pauline prayed and said, um, I come against COVID, malignancies, viruses. I come against pain. I come against inflammation. I come against um, allergies. I come against the spirit of depression tonight in the name of Jesus. I want to rip down the spirit of heaviness, the spirit of confusion, and the spirit of deception. In the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit of activity accusation and condemnation in the mighty name of Jesus because the name of the Lord is a strong tower and we run into it and we are safe and Lord I thank you that through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross hallelujah we have passed out from under the curse and we entered into the blessing of Abram who you blessed in all things I thank you, Lord, for this week to come, for each and everyone on this call tonight, Lord. I speak favor. I speak your presence. I speak your provision. I speak your protection. I thank you, Lord, for good health in this week. I thank you for good news in this week. I thank you for victory. We are victorious in this week, Lord. I thank you for exaltation. I thank you for production productiveness in this week. I thank you for prosperity in this week, Lord. And I want to believe with my family around the table tonight for a supernatural breakthrough in our finances, Lord. As I speak, I speak words of light, uh, life tonight. And we stand in agreement. And I say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your son, I come again tonight to you. And I'm lifting up my my precious brother and my precious sister around this table and in this prayer meeting. And I thank you, Father God, that tonight as we call upon your name, in the name of Jesus Christ, your son, we trust and we believe you for a financial miracle to be released in our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray tonight and I thank you that you release that financial blessing in this week to come in our lives and we stand in agreement according to your word in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that declares that you have got great plans for each and every one of us. You want to prosper us. You have got plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us a hope and a future. Thank you Heavenly Father for your word. I thank you that your word is true and we run into you, your righteousness, Lord. Thank you that you are able to release a supernatural uh, provision and that you open a door that no man can shut. And I also thank you, Lord, that you close the uh, uh, shut doors that no demon can open ever again. I'm praying specifically that you open a door of provision for our finances to be released in our 
our lives in the name of Jesus. And if you agree with the way you sit or stand, you can say, Amen. I stand in agreement. Lord, I thank you that you make a way, that you bring prosperity and blessings into our lives. I call forth the financial blessings. I call forth supernatural blessings from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bless each and every one on this call tonight. And I declare and I decree a shift, a shift, a supernatural change is coming to our finances, to the glory and the honor of your name. I thank you, Father, that you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. I declare that provision will find us tonight. Lord, I tonight I break the spirit of poverty. I break the spirit of lack in the name of Jesus, because Jesus, according to your word in John 10, verse 10, you came so that we can have life and life abundantly. Hallelujah. I declare and I decree tonight that you deliver us from every and any financial bondage in the name of Jesus. I break the curse. I break the cycle of the financial blockage in the name of Jesus. And I pray and I thank you that you will open up the wells of Jacob that has been clogged up for may, so many much too long in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I pray in faith and I believe your word that says all things are possible for those who believe you are El Shaddai, the more than enough one to provide in all our needs. I thank you, Lord, that you release a financial blessing over each and every one, that you will bless each person in his work circumstances, Lord. Some of us are working in very difficult workplaces, but I pray tonight, Lord, for breakthrough, for outcome like never before. And I say thank you, Father, that you order our steps right in to your provision which you have set before us in Jesus name I thank you for what you are doing right now right now while we are standing in agreement right now I thank you that pro financial provision is on the way I thank you this is our week for a financial miracle in the mighty name of Jesus and I'm standing firm on your word that in Proverbs 30, 13 verse 22 says that wealth and riches are in our house. We give you glory and honor and praise. Please just mute your mic. Please just mute your mic. Lord, I pray for Brunel in uh, Dubai who has difficult circumstances. She's there over a distance and um, a father and a mother, they uh, need um, medical attention. And it is very hard, Lord, to be so far away and to arrange all these things. But I pray that everything will be will fall into place for Runel and that you will also give a mighty outcome for her parents, that you will touch them, that you will heal them in the name of Jesus. And and also, Lord, I pray for Dr. Bauline Weirly, who is in hospital already for six weeks in ICU, struggling with the breathing. In the mighty name of Jesus, as Paulina already prayed, I pray that that oxygen level will rise in the name of Jesus so that she can come off the, the oxygen um, mask. And I declare healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory. We praise you. I bless your name. And I thank you tonight, Lord, for every faithful prayer warrior, um, the prayer eagles, that they will rise up like never before. As Brother Shawkat always says, arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon upon us. Lord, bless us, each and every one. Keep us faithful 
keep us through until Jesus come. Help us that we walk with our eyes focused on you to the glory and the honor of your name. Shalom, my beloveds. God bless you. Enjoy an awesome, super blessed amazing, wonderful, stunning week. And remember, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. Shalom until next Monday night. And don't forget Wednesday night, each and every other night of the weekend. I'll post the link. God bless you. Go well. Amen. <laughs>